What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Trailer Tales. My name is Dave Gunther. I'm Crystal. Tammy. <laughs> and this is our regular podcast that we do every single week on this channel. So you're not you're gonna what you want to do is always subscribe to get those notifications to hit that bell. And you got to like and you got to comment and you got to tell friends so other people know about it and they're aware that this is not just a one-off. This is every week that we're doing this thing. Yeah, you guys got to do that. Okay? Share. All right? And if you're new around here and somebody did share with you, welcome to the podcast. Okay? My name's Tammy. All right? And if you think, oh, this is just a bunch of uh, dudes that got a microphone and everything and they're just sitting around talking. No, we are funded. Okay, and we have a private investor who funds our uh, podcast, so we are the real deal. He is requested to not be mentioned by name on this podcast, secretly funding this organization that we are recording and where the studio is at in right. an undisclosed location. Right. So just know that this is a real podcast. It's not fake. No, no. So if you're new around here, you know, get that through your ears right now because we're about to talk about some stuff. Okay, do we know what we're going to talk about yet? No. Okay, that's the beauty of a podcast. Mm -hmm. Okay, whatever flies off the tip of my clit. <laughs> the okay? same the Dr. Phil podcast where they have everything written down what they're going to say. Dr. Phil's going to say, oh, welcome to my show. And then the person says, thank you. That's not how and, this is. And then he's going to say, get your life together. Mm -hmm. Stop uh, mooching off your 70-year-old uh, parents. That's what he's going to say. Okay, we're not going to tell you something, stuff like that. If your parents are paying your bills, hell let them. Okay? So, I just want to get that out of the way. I'm glad you got that off your chest. Thank you. Thank you. I had a kind of an interesting week. Well, what'd you do? Got my first pedicure of my entire life. Did they say anything about your flat feet? You know, she did not say how flat they were she said i had pretty feet for a man she was lying why you say that because she's she's wanting the extra tip after she says that to everyone they've said that to daryl they say it to me you've got pretty feet for a man every time i go in there he it, says to Daryl, and Daryl's got fungus on his toenails literal fungus hanging off and they say that to him you think that she was just trying to Glob the knob for a better tip. Did you tip her? You bet I did. How much? Three bucks. There you go. That's why. That's what she wanted. And she got it. <laughs> you got got, motherfucker. You got got. You got got. But tell us about the pedicure. How was it? Honestly, you know, I usually considered it to be a womanly activity, but y'all got in my head pretty hard these last couple of weeks. And I was like, you know what? Maybe I'll go get them cleaned up a little bit. Mm -hmm. They've kind of already gone to shit a little bit, like pretty quick. But I've been in like work boots and stuff, like and out mowing lawns and stuff like that. So, you know, I work outside sometimes and I work on my hands because I'm a real man, okay? Mm -hmm. And sometimes you need that extra care and you need that extra loving in the nail salon. And that's what I did this week. Did they uh, put some lotion on that one part there that's real dry? Why you always have to bring up the dry spot? Did they take a cheese grater to it? Knock, <laughs> knock off about a quarter inch of skin? No. Well, yes. <laughs> I was about to say, what? I know they did. Yeah. They get that cheese grater. Yeah. And I they mean, always say, would you like to take the skin home? <laughs> and you say, no. They well, ask was, you to take the skin they, home? Like some weird creepy tooth fairy lady? I take mine home, Crystal. The dogs eat it. Okay, that's some sick shit. Like, I've heard a lot of things. That is fucking disgusting. Okay, You feed your dogs your toe remnants? It's not just from the toe, it's the heel and everything. Oh, okay, so you're gonna I'll eat the heel on a sandwich any day, but I will not eat the heel off a oh, woman. Listen to me. You're going to sit there and let your dog lick your arm skin for 30 minutes and think that's fine, but as soon as they want to munch on it, ooh, all of a sudden I'm nasty? Licking is different from munching, and everybody knows that. Licking is not different from munching. If I lick down there versus munching, which one would you prefer? It's just a different texture. You're doing the same thing. You're getting the same taste. I highly disagree. The difference between a lick and a munch is a big difference. It's all about textures. Okay, look. Here's a lick. Ready? Here's a munch. 
Same shit. Yep. I think our munch is different. Well, show me a munch. You want to see a munch? Well, I've seen it before, but <laughs> show everybody else. Okay. See this thing? And that's why I've only done it once. <laughs> that was that was absurd looking. That's why he's only done it once. And with all that damn noise, I'd say, get out of between my legs. Mm-hmm. Okay, you want me to be quiet with <laughs> it? Human, try it quiet. Try it quiet. But <laughs> Try it quiet, but do exactly what you <laughs> But do exactly what you just did, but quiet. Go. No, you weren't doing that. You see, you can't do it. <laughs> You're still making noise. You're not doing what you did while I go. Kissing, what do you mean? The kissing noises. Yeah. So great. I can't even make kissing noises? <clears throat> The only noises you should hear when you're doing that is the woman going, mm, Okay, then you do that part and I'll do this part. Okay. Mm. The mouth noises are going to make me puke. <laughs> it's just horrible. But the fucking eel skin off your feet that you feed your dog won't make you puke? Well, here's the deal. If you don't take your skin home, she's going to keep it on that towel and give it to the next person for their dog. And hold on. You go to the pet store and you get your uh you get your pet's um uh pork skins and you get them uh rawhide. Raw hides and those skins are fine. You're comparing your skin to pork skin right now? That's she's what you just are doing. Quality. Do you want your dog eating a random animal skin? I can't or, believe or the, you. or the skin of their mother. I can't believe y'all are fighting me on this one. This is blowing my mind. And here's the deal: dogs will eat any skin, so it don't matter. Take your skin home, people. Let your dogs uh, snack on it. They love it. Oh, and when I leave the house, I'm literally like, "Mama's gonna go get a pedicure." Their little tails start wagging because they know what pedicure means. <laughs> Mama's gonna come back with a snack. <laughs> Looking for something to throw at you. Okay, okay, throw the yeah, throw that at me. Yeah, throw that at me. Oh, that had some fucking weight to it. What the? What's that noise? Oh. And I didn't, I didn't know it was gonna be that big. I, God, I didn't know it was gonna be that big. I'm sorry. He could have killed him. That's cuffed up my nucks. I am sorry about that. That's okay. I thought when you were throwing that, when it was coming at me, that it was going to have a little bit of float to it. Like a blow up. And then it thing. just hit me in the side of the face and the, the the knuckles. Yeah, and I'm sorry about that. Yeah, that's okay. Y- uh, you know. You know I- what? Everything, Everything we, we say, say or, or do, do physically, physically or mentally, mentally will be, be fine. fine. It will friends. remain friends. friends. One, One, two, two three. three. Remain, remain friends. friends. So you're not mad at me? Not at all. We did. That's part of the pact. Okay, that yeah. is part of the pact. <laughs> the pact. The pact. Mm. Anyway, so back to your feet. You said they're looking good. So let's see them. Hold them up. Jesus Christ. So not only did she charge you probably $78 plus the $3 tip, and they looked the same. I'd go get my money back. What do you mean? These are looking fresh. She didn't scrape off enough skin. And she did not cut the hairs off the top of your... She's not going to shave the hairs off my feet. And I do want to say, sometimes if it's been a while since I've gotten a pedicure, if I'm laying on the couch and I just got my feet propped up, (laughs) the dog... The dog. The dogs will be down there just gnawing on. Mm-hmm. It's a sight to see. They're gnawing on your toes. Yeah, they gnaw the skin off. They're just gnawing on them. You know the skin's so thick I can't feel it, so I just let them. Right, because it's just dead skin. Right. Yeah. Right. <laughs> you know, there was a time when dogs were first domesticated that there was not actual dog food you couldn't go back when you're in little house of the prairie days you couldn't go to a store and buy no, dog food they didn't have they had cow. to eat skin well skin. you know how they fatten up cows and stuff like that 
they used to do that with people back in the day with stews and different salts and stuff. So their mm. feet would swell and then their dogs would just go to town on their, their feet. Yeah. That's why you say like, if you've been walking a long time, Ooh, my dogs are burning. Yeah. It's from that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, actually it's uh, my dogs are barking. Dogs are barking. Pretty sure it's my dogs are burning. Okay. Well, the there's only one way to solve this. And I know that's by saying to the show, if you know the different, if you know what it is, put it in the comments. If you know if it's dogs are barking or dogs are burning. Let us know in the comments what, what the correct saying is. It might but be I'm, from an area that you're from, too. Well, I'll tell you right now, Crystal's a little bit older than us. Have she, you heard about a dog burning? Never. I've heard about dogs barking. And here's the, the, the deal. Crystal's always right. She's never been wrong. She just knows more than us. Mm-hmm. And I've never questioned you, have I? Mm-hmm. And if I'm wrong about something, you correct me. Guess what? I'm corrected. I stand corrected. Yeah. You know what I mean? Older and wiser, baby. Okay, she's been around. Older and wiser, wet like a geyser. You know exactly what they say. Right about that. I was about to say, is he wrong? <laughs> He's right about that. He's right about that. I love that we can take it from, you know, arguing and poking fun at each other to right back in that same sexual energy. Yeah. Yeah. Towards each other. Uh huh. It's gonna happen by episode hundred. Letting y'all know. And guess what? One hundred was gonna be booty. The booty hole one. We hadn't forgotten about that. Booty hole. We pleasures. don't have to. Well, we'll we'll circle back. Okay. We'll circle back in about a year. Okay. Ish. You know. Yeah. Episode hundred. I don't know how many. I don't know what. How many weeks are in? A, how many in a weeks are in a year? I don't know. Three hundred sixty-five weeks. Maybe. Okay. Yeah. So we'll circle back in a quarter of a year. Okay. And test this theory out. Yeah. But we can we can put this on the back burner. We ain't got talk. We ain't got him. I don't. I, I want to let it marinate in your head and soak, and then you deal with that later. First of all, we want to thank y'all. A lot of people have been emailing yes. us, and we do appreciate that because we kind of been plugging it quite a bit mm-hmm. yeah. on on socials, as yeah. they call it, mm-hmm. and then also like on the podcast. And y'all been coming through. Mm-hmm. And well, email and stuff. And I thought we'd get maybe four or five emails. It, it's been, it's been, it's blown my mind. And as a matter of fact, I uh, read a really good email from a really nice guy that's been watching the pod. Can I read this to you guys? I would love that, yeah. <clears throat> Let's see here. Let me pull it up here. <clears throat> Lots of emails like this, but this one really stood out. Okay. And I want to, I want to read it to you guys. What urgency level is this one? This one was urgent too. Okay. 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 So, so I clicked on it and it said, <clears throat> Hey guys, I've been listening and watching the podcast, and I'm loving it so far. Might be my favorite podcast in my rotation. I love Crystal's missing tooth, and I think Dave brings extra feminine energy to the podcast, which, as a guy, is not bad. I love women and hearing their perspective. Tammy is so beautiful, I just want to finger bang her icebox pie. Love you guys and keep up the good work. Love, Steve. Isn't that sweet? Yeah. I thought that was really nice. Yeah, I, I huh. was, I agreed with most of it, but do I have a feminine quality that is coming off on the podcast? Not that that's a necessarily a bad thing, but like I never thought of myself as a feminine man before. I could see it. Yeah. Well, you are wearing it shirt with the sleeves cut off yeah, yeah that, and so am i <laughs> i mean if anything i would say that that's kind of a masculine quality no no not you, at all and no. you have long hair just like just like me <laughs> just like me it's kind of blonde just like mine yeah, you're trying to be like me that's i don't okay. have a pussy like you unless well, i tuck it back well tuck it back <laughs> and we'll take a gander at it don't do <laughs> T- not tuck it back and okay we'll take a gander at it you tuck it back, and I'll tuck my lips in. Let's take a picture side by side and see if they can tell it apart. Do not tempt me to do this, because I, I, I will. I, I bet you nobody can tell it apart. Don't you, tempt me to it. do this. Until you spread it. Do not tempt me to do that. One's got a and clip, in this one's got corner, skin. we have uh, poking behind. And in this corner, we have natural beauty. Let's see which if you tell them apart. We'll switch the picture like this so that people don't know who's who. Yeah. They're not going to be able to tell the difference. I'm just saying, 
I'll call your bluff if you keep pushing me. I'm just saying that was a really nice email from a really nice fan of the podcast. And tell him thank you. That, Go ahead. Thank you. Thank you, Steve, for e- emailing. <clears throat> and saying the Taylor nice words. TaylorTrailsPod at gmail.com. The, the, the nice words and call me feminine. We appreciate that. And we love you. Thank you for the support. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hey, if you could make your dream sandwich, what's your dream sandwich? What's your like, be- like this is the sandwich of all sandwiches. This is it. What would your sandwich be? Well, first, uh, uh, right off the bat, are we cooking with mayo or Miracle Whip? Because that's the thing that a lot of people get divided on. Some people love the Miracle Whip zing and then other people are just they swear by just mayo i love a tang and i know you do too because you ate my pussy <laughs> once <laughs> so i know you love a tang is that feminine is that feminine steve going down under huh yeah because that's what lesbians do yeah a bunch of lesbians do it Shit. she's right Shit. she's right lots of women do that Crystal, you like Miracle Whip or no? I like Miracle Whip. And I know a lot of people are saying, you know, like, oh, that's, uh, you're not a purist mayonnaise lover if you love that. Well, you know what? If you give me a choice, I'm picking Miracle Whip every time. Mm. Mm. And that that's on a sandwich, in a, in a tuna fish sandwich, mm. in deviled eggs. I don't care. Yeah. Give me Miracle Whip or give me death. And I think a queen or king said that about something. Yeah. Give, give them cake or give them death. And that's what I'm saying about Miracle Whip. Give me Miracle Whip or l- let me die. Yeah. So we're going with Miracle Whip. And listen, I like mayonnaise too. Yeah, they both can hang out. I like mayonnaise too. But the different I love, occasions. Yes, I love a tang. I love the tang of the Miracle Whip. So if you were having maybe a Christmas extravagance and having all your friends come over would you put out miracle whip or mayonnaise both if you had it like that then both but if i only had one if you only had one though miracle whip and if they don't like miracle whip you can fucking leave what about if you had a first date coming over and you you know you didn't know their dietary restrictions (laughs) would you set out miracle whip or mayonnaise i like to put my foot down in the relationship early on yeah. Go ahead. Your flat foot? Yeah, I like to put my f***ing flat foot down okay. in the relationship early on. Okay. And? Can I continue? Go ahead. Yeah. I like to put my foot down in the relationship early on, and I like to put out the Miracle Whip, because I'm not dating a vegan. Yeah. That ain't happening, because guess what? I don't want... One of my happy places is when I sit down for a good meal. And I don't want yeah. uh, somebody with a dietary restriction mm-hmm. next to me. And I couldn't date a vegan either. because no way. Because you're going to sit there and tell me that if you're not going to eat a pot roast, you're damn sure not going to eat my t- And if you're gonna, not going to eat my t- because you say you don't eat meat. Oh, I, I can't go down there. I don't eat meat. Okay. What about if they Please. were pescatarian? I don't care about the religious. I don't care what they are religion-wise. You know, you tell a vegan when they say that they don't eat meat? Well, good. I got a beyond. <laughs> but mine's real meat. Really meaty. I got lips. The innards and the outards are real. Is that what you mean? I mean, I was just thinking of a loophole, but then you doubled down and you told me how meaty it was. Yeah. Yeah, we're talking, I'm going to need a meat lover. <laughs> I'm going to need to date a meat lover. I'm going to need to date someone that only eats meat. Mm-hmm. A carnivore diet? Yeah. A caveman diet? Yeah. Prehistoric diet? Yeah. Nuts. That's berries. the only person that can really handle what's going on in there. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> so to answer my question... You'd put Miracle Whip out on the first date. I would. And yeah. what about you? I'm going to go with Miracle Whip. Okay. Miracle Whip. Miracle Whip. I think 
this one of the few times like if we were on that show with the buttons that like, we'd all turn around at the same time press your luck yeah we're gonna mm-hmm. say no whammies no whammies and then the chairs turn around mm-hmm. yeah now do you do mustards i have to do a mustard do you do yellow mustards do you do whole grain mustards do you do honey mustards i think just classic yellow yeah I think, like... You love a tang. Mm -hmm. You love a tang. You love the taste of tang. Go run a couple blocks. See what happens. It'll knock your ass out. That's what'll happen. That's beyond a tang. Start blowing my hair back? (laughs) That's beyond (laughs) a tang. It'll curl your hair up. It'll curl your hair up. Mm. Burn your tongue off. Worth it, though. Worth it. It would be worth it. Exactly. <clears throat> what else are the emails saying? Oh. Trailer tales. We are sick and tired of you having nasty, hairy balls. Okay? A little bit of a little bit of hair is fine. But if I'm gonna be coughing, guess what? I'm not gonna be happy this uh Valentine's Day at all. Fellas, this is very important. If you don't trim your pubes in time for Valentine's Day, she might not even go down on you on Valentine's Day. Because guess what? Nobody wants a throat full of pubes on one of the most magical days of the year. It's disgusting. So what are you going to do? Get the Manscaped package, the 5.0. Get the lawnmower trimmer. Get everything that you need to make sure that everything down there is clean and looking good in time for your love on Valentine's Day. And not just the front either. Okay, you want your backside munched on? Don't forget that hole. Okay? I'm serious. Join the 10 million men worldwide who trust Manscaped, okay? With our exclusive offer. Y'all got something you want to say? I just was going to say, I've had men try to say, oh, let's turn out the lights. And then I get down there and discover they want the lights out because they have a huge bush. (laughs) Well, speaking of lights off, there's an LED light on the trimmer so wow. in case you want to get your gooch your taint your backside your front side get everything manscaped perfectly with the new lawnmower that's amazing okay. is it led light it's an led light that's high quality oh and guess what it's rechargeable wow that's the, i've never heard of a ball trimmer like that out there on the market because guess what there ain't one go to manscaped.com Okay, to snag, get ready for this, 20% off plus free shipping with code TRAILER, okay? At manscaped.com. That's 20% off with free shipping at manscaped.com and use code TRAILER because your grooming upgrade awaits, ready to charm your Valentine's dates. (laughs) That was good. Okay, and you guys, happy licking. Yeah. Happy licking, happy munching. Licking, sucking. Gagging. Oh, gagging. Oh, <laughs> you're going to get me throbbing <laughs> over here. That's my favorite thing to do. Gag? I love gagging, but not on pubes. Mm-mm. You know exactly. what I'm saying? Why not gag on the good part? I want to gag on the meat part, not yeah. the fur part. Exactly. Okay? So take take your balls seriously and take your partner's comfort level seriously. Okay? That's what we want for our listeners. And take some notes from some real women and a real man who knows what the hell they're talking about. Manscaped. Hey, y'all. Go see Tammy and Crystal live on tour in Albuquerque, New Mexico, and in California in Oxnard, Irvine, Brea, and Ontario, and in Illinois in Bloomington and Marion, and of course the Bahamas cruise in March. Get tickets and merch at eatmytrash.com. And go see my pal Jeremiah Watkins live on tour in Oxnard and San Francisco, California, as well as Austin, Texas, West Bend, Wisconsin, Kansas City, Missouri, and every second Tuesday of the month in Los Angeles at the World Famous Comedy Store. Get tickets and new merch at JeremiahWatkins.com. Thanks, y'all. And also, for any Mario Brothers fans, I think we've all, like... (laughs) Wow. (laughs) What? Are you saying Mario and Luigi right here? (laughs) I mean, yeah, before you take the mushrooms, yeah. They like my tooth. Lots of emails about her tooth. 
And I think it's one of those things where they know I'm insecure about it. So they want to make me feel better and say, oh, well, you look so cute, Crystal. Oh, yeah. Does this look cute? Yes. Zoom in on her tooth. I think you look adorable and beautiful. I think that any time that that flippers out, that you should be smiling just as big. Bigger. Yeah, even bigger. Bigger. Go bigger. Crystal, go bigger. Yeah. Yeah. Just like that. I, I love like, it. I like when you stick your tongue a little bit. It reminds me of a little lizard that I used to babysit. You babysat lizards? Yeah. Huh. So, basically, this email comes from Heather Shappy. All right? Okay. What's she Heather got to say? She needs answers. That's what the subject says. She needs answers. Okay. Okay. Number one. I think one of my pubes got on this mic. Farting and pubing on the mic? Pubin? Pubin. You know what's bad? You need to clip your shit if you got pubes flowing through the air. Going through the air vents and shit. Well, sorry. I guess the drapes do match the curtains. But your curtains are two different colors. Or your drapes. Wait, what? Carpet? Number one. If aliens visited Earth and you had to represent all of humanity, what would you say to them? Oh. I'd just probably be like, hey, do you guys love nothing too? Because we love nothing around here. Mm -hmm. And I, you know, if they said yes, I'd be like, let's try a nut together. And if they right. said, what's that? I'd be like, let me show you. Yeah. So I'd probably just, you know. Do you want me to make you nut is right. one of me, right. one of my first questions. Because how cool would it be to be like, hey, dude, I fucked an alien or I gave an alien a reach around. How cool is that to say? Not many people could say that. Uh, no. no. Because anytime anybody gets abducted, they say, oh, I was probed. Yeah. We're turning the tables yeah. and saying we we ma manually made a, an alien ejaculate. We're doing the probing. And that's taking the power back. We're doing the probing. That is. I would definitely do something sexual with them. Because what am I going to do? Uh, play Uno? That's boring. Right. What am I going to do? Show them around town. Go go to a museum that they don't care about. Bro, they're already here amongst us anyway, disguised. Mm -hmm. They've been around. They know what we're doing. You know what I'm saying? We need to do something sexual with them. You okay? Yeah, I thought I just saw one. Where? I just thought I saw an alien gray run across over there, but sometimes when you talk about them... They'll show up. Yep. They're always listening, you know. Mm -hmm. Always listening. You know when you're masturbating and yes. it's dark yes. and you feel like somebody's watching you? I yes. always think they're watching me. Mm -hmm. I always think it's a dead family member. Oh, my God. Because, yeah. they're you know, it's like before my grandma died, she said, I'll always be with you, always be watching. And that's all I can think about when I'm rubbing one out is, is grandma, <laughs> grandma watching me. She's hovering above you while you? You never know. So that, that didn't ever stop you, though? You kept going? I kept going, but I... Yeah. I was thinking, and then I thought, well, Grandma probably did it too. So. You can finish with that kind of distraction? Yeah, you just focus. You're a champ. Yeah. I could finish if family members are watching me, dead or alive. <laughs> Don't matter to me. I'm getting Why my nut. Why are you holding your phone up like that? You filming her? No. You filming me? No. That was weird. Why were you holding it up like that? Let me film you. I'm going to film you. I'm going to film your right, ass. I'm going to film you. Watch this. Okay. Watch this. Oh, my, my phone's froze. Dave. Yep. Here's Look. It's froze. It's froze. Guess what? Because you were talking about aliens. They froze your fucking phone. You see that? You Holy shit. See that? You're on my Snapchat right now. Oh, guess what? I'm on live right now. Holy shit. Holy shit. Why was it frozen? I don't know. It's still frozen. Maybe they do have control of your phone. Here we go. I was. All right, I got you on my Snapchat. Right I got now. you on mine. You're on my Snapchat. Yep. Hey. You're on my Snapchat. Right there. You're gonna film me. I'm gonna film you. I'll film your ass. I'll film your we ass. We guys don't have to film each other. We literally have all these cameras right here. Oh. They're filming in high quality, four four D. Okay. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Sorry. 
just thought it was suspicious you was holding that up like that. He was filming me. Just let me know when you're going to film me. All right. What would you try to do? Number two. Okay. What's the weirdest thing you believed as a child? Mm. One thing that I think a lot of us believed, I thought if you ate carrots, then your eyes would glow in the dark. I never heard that one. You've never heard that one? No. I did believe that if you made a funny face, that it was going to stay that way. I got told that all the time as a yeah. kid. All the time as a kid. Yeah. They told me if I swallowed watermelon seeds, they, uh, they told me if I was swallowing watermelon seeds that a watermelon plant would grow out of my ears. I heard that one. And here's the thing. Did y'all try these things hoping they would happen? Because well, I did. Mm -hmm. I would try these things and they wouldn't happen. And I'd be like, mm, you lied. I caught you. You lied. Cause they say if you if you're got your eyes crossed and somebody punches you, your eyes are gonna stay like that. So then, oh, don't eat, don't eat, and then go swim. You gotta wait thirty minutes. Yeah. Guess what? I'd go five minutes after, and I was fucking fine. Don't eat, don't go swimming after you eat. You might get autism. Guess what? Never got it. Never got it. Not once. They lied to us. I think that sometimes that the parents are what we call the man, and our parents are maybe even aliens. You ever think about that? These are just some of the conspiracy theories that we're putting out there. If you have any conspiracy theories, maybe leave them in the comments for us. If you know of a conspiracy theory or if you know of uh, things your parents told you growing up or or whatever, leave them in the comments. Well, my dad, he always told me for many years um, that he loved me. That was a lie. That was a conspiracy. It was not real. Turned out it was not real. Your dad wasn't real or the love wasn't the, real? The thing that he said that he loved me. It wasn't real. And how did you find out that it was well, not real? Well, he left. He was gone. He's got a whole other family. <clears throat> whole other family. <clears throat> so he lied. And he also, uh, you know, said uh, the tooth fairy is real. And uh, that proved to not be real. Did he, That was a lie. Did he take your real tooth when it fell out and cash it in you okay crystal mm -hmm. hey crystal you all right hey. it's all right it's all right I, these are this is why i like this podcast this is a like a trauma healing center you know sometimes we can talk about something and people can relate i'm sure there's other people in the audience whose daddy didn't love them and who's took their tooth and um, sold it at uh the flea market do you remember Lunchables growing up? Mm -hmm. Do you want a Munchable right now? He always knows how to turn it around. He turns it around, man. You and took my hey, trauma and turned it. And you're good at it. I'm not going to lie. You get on my nerves, and I love you, but you're good at it. Yeah, do you get on our nerves? Yes. yes. Are you sometimes over the top? Yes. yes. <laughs> Did you have a flat foot? Yes. yes. Do you have a very dry spot on the front of your foot? Yes. yes. But are you a good guy? Yes. yes. Okay, I was getting nervous. Are there. you a little it, feminine? Yes. yes. Do you sometimes have body odor that resembles the smell of a red onion? Yes. yes. But do we love you? Yes. Yeah. I'm glad you got to the, the good guy part because I was starting to think it was going to keep going on for a while like without getting to... Does sometimes you have a little bit of doo-doo streak on your underwear when I do your laundry for you? Yes. yes. Do you have one of the dumbest haircuts in the world? Yes. Yes. Do you have one of the worst mullets that the world has ever seen? Yes. yes. Do you wear the dumbest shirts of anyone on this podcast? Yes. Do you have holy jeans? Yes. Yes. Did you not buy them that way, but they just holy because of the wear and tear? Yes. yes. Have you been wearing the same pool shark socks for the last four weeks? Yes. Yes. Have you not slept with a woman in two years? Yes. Did you not graduate from college or high school? Yes. yes. Have you never been <laughs> keep a job for more? <laughs> have you never <laughs> have you never been able to keep a job for more than six months? Yes. Yes. Did you get fired from the Waffle House for peeing in the grits? Yes. yes. But you're still a good guy. You're a good guy. 
I'm glad you finally got to that part because I was starting to think that for a moment there that like you this was an outlet for y- y'all to start picking out my flaws as a person. No, here's the thing. We see the good in people when there's not a whole lot. Thank you. Thank, thank we can you. take the lowest scum of the earth and find a find a redeeming quality in them. Good. Good. And that's one of our strong points. Yeah. Yeah. She instilled that in me as a little kid. And you can look at us all day and say, I'm going to find a flaw. And you'll be looking all day. We look, know that. You'll be sitting there all damn day. And we can look at you and easily see some surface value. Oh, right off the bat. Flaws quickly. You know, just like that. See, if I could come up with one flaw, then I would say it to y'all right now. But you don't have one, do you? Y'all are too... You don't have one. You're too pure. You're, you're too perfect. All right. Thank you. <clears throat> and do I sometimes stumble on words? Yes. Yes. Do I sometimes look in the mirror and I realize that I wish I could be a different person? Yes. yes. Do I sometimes crap sitting down and think, oh, this is oh, this whole lady thing. They might have something to this sitting down, taking every trip to the bathroom. Yes. yes. Do I sometimes go through the garbage and eat food that's left over from other people and realize that I should probably make a little bit more money and start eating food that's bought on shelves at a grocery store? Yes. 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 Do I have an uncle named Raccoon for no reason? Yes. Yes. Did I date a middle schooler when I was in elementary school and I felt like she took advantage of me because of the age difference? Yes. yes. Do I sometimes go play basketball alone in the gym and throw it off the backboard and let it hit me in the face just to remind me that I used to be bullied by kids in elementary school? Yes. Yes. But am I still a good guy? Yes. 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 And that's what this podcast is about. Yes, it is. I will will not not speak. Speak, speak things. things. I will not speak, speak things, things, things about, about myself. myself. Or I will find, find the best in myself. myself. And no matter what, what we say. One, one, two, three, friends. friends. And I want everybody listening and watching to do the same at home. <sighs> we have some, you know, I just mentioned basketball. And I just want to mention this real fast mm-hmm. because I think that we need to talk about this. Let's do it. Let's do it. We got to talk about the GOAT debate Let's in basketball. Get Let's get into it. Just real quick, okay? Just real quick. Now, people talk about the NBA who are the greatest of all times. That's what GOAT stands for. Mm-hmm. Okay? Who's the greatest of all time? Now, there's MJ. Okay. There's LeBron. And there's Kobe. Easy. I know who it is. Who is it? Michael Jordan. Who else has a shoe named after him? The biggest selling shoe of all time. Not only is he the best shoe salesman in the world, he's the best basketball player of all times. Fight me on that. Fight me in the comments. Do it. I dare you. Nobody else does have a shoe after him. Nobody has a shoe. That is a good point. Thank you. But if we are strictly looking at stats here, guys, who wins? Who loses? Which team's the best? They all got great stats. Their stats are great. Well, if technically LeBron just broke the scoring record of all time, he beat Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, Wilt (laughs) Chamberlain, Michael Jordan. Larry Bird, one of my personal favorites. The Great White Hope, as some people call him. Larry Legend, as some people call him. Okay, but we're not talking about those people. Those are all Harlem Globetrotters. Exactly. We're not talking about them. We're talking about regular NBA basketball players. Yes. Harlem Globetrotters is a totally separate league of their own. Michael Jordan, who do you think it is? I mean, some people might eat me alive in the comments, but... Say it. I think it's LeBron James. No way in hell. You don't think so? No, I think Michael Jordan gets recognized everywhere he goes. 
He, he can't walk into a mall without people going, oh, Michael Jordan, Michael Jordan, I'm wearing your shoes right now. You're the best basketball player of all time. You think that happens to LeBron? Yeah, I do. Hell Crystal, no. Crystal, can you chime in on this? I'm just perplexed that y'all are focusing on shoes and this and that. If we look at the stats, and st- I'm talking about stats from 1979 from each of these players. Who's coming out on top? Okay, Jordan, LeBron James. Jordan. For, okay, first of all, LeBron James, he was barely even, maybe even born in 1979. Actually, I don't even know if he was born yet. Okay, start the stats when he was born, is what she's saying. We start, start the stats when they're born. He, he was, was born in 89, here. right? But if we use a cumulative score for each of them. I think he was born like 82 or 83, somewhere around there. Regardless, okay. if we're using a, a cumulative score of each player's RBIs and MVPs. Kobe's Thanks. coming out on top. Oh, Kobe. Really? The dark horse. I who, mean, who else has a chain of steakhouses? You're right. Kobe Steaks. You're right. But that don't not Michael Jackson and surely not LeBron James. You got me there. But here's the thing. We're ranking basketball, not meat cuts and restaurant chains. He may be the best restauranteur, the best steak guy, okay, and he was a great basketball player. But he would have never had the opportunity to open Kobe Steakhouse unless he was one of the world's best basketball players. Okay, you're talking businessman now. He's one of the best businessmen. Is he one of the best basketball players? No, Michael fucking Jordan is. How many uh, free throws did Michael Jordan get in 1989? At least 10. Well, right. he, he got way more than 10, yeah. Okay. Yeah, he got more than 10. Sure. Kobe? Okay, Mr. I know every every stat and every game. Okay. I, I, I know a few, okay? I do know basketball a little bit. Okay. Okay, yeah, he had oh, yeah. more than 10 free throws. Yeah, What's it got- called if a player is running down there and another player steps in front of him and goes, mm. what's that called? It's called a foul. Okay. Yeah, all right. So cool. So you knew it. Well, what's this one? Oh, do you what have more? A, okay. Ex- what if a player's... Um, Bouncing, bouncing, stops it, and then bounce, bounce, bounce. What's that, what's that called? That's called a double dribble. All okay. Right, you got lucky on that one. You did. What about if the player is, is bouncing, bouncing, foot goes over the line? He's out of bounds. Okay. What about a run rule? Uh, Excuse me? Run rule. What happens then? What is a run you rule? You think Michael Jordan's been run ruling? I don't think so. What is a run rule? What's a fucking they, run rule? When they make too many scores and the other team can't catch up, so they might as well not even play anymore. That run is, rule. That, that's grade school kickball. That They, they do that like the, the, they cap the game so people don't get their, he, their their feelings hurt. They don't do that in the NBA. Oh, yeah? Well, what's it called when you, you throw up a ball and then the player on the other team catches it? Well, that's an interception, but that's football. Right? Okay, same pretty- shit. It's the same shit. We're talking stats here, Dave. We're talking stats. What about it when you're in the eighth quarter? That, that'd be your second game being there played. There ain't no eighth quarter. That was a trick question. She got your ass. You should have known that one. If you, you like basketball, but you don't know there ain't eight quarters. <laughs> got all cocky there, didn't you? Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, y'all, y'all put me in my place. I mean, yep. It, you know what? You're right. If you focus on the stats, you're right. You just got to focus on the stats. That's all you got to do. The longest running free throw record in the game, Kobe. The most free throws that were ever committed. You know what? Kobe would be my second. And, hear me, and here's why. Solely based on this. When you take a crumbled up piece of paper and from across the room, you chunk it, you chunk it into the uh, trash. You're not yelling, LeBron. You're not yelling, Michael. Those things don't even cross your mind. What are you yelling? Kobe. Kobe. Be- yep. Kobe beef. Kobe beef. Kobe beef. beef. That's what you're yelling. When you're right, you're right. So you switched sides to Kobe as well. No, he's a close second, but it's, it's the, the shoes. shoes. To, it's the shoes for me. Okay. You know you. You're able to to create your own shoe. Nobody's done that before. Well, I'm sure you guys have opinions in the comments as well. So go ahead and leave them, and, and we'll get to them later. And you can email 
trailertailspod at gmail.com. But that's our episode. We're out of time, guys. I got oh. one more question for you. What's it? Uh, what What are the scores in basketball? Yeah. What are the scores? Yeah. How many different point systems are there? Well, there's technically three. Get his ass. What are Crystal? they? Get his ass. I mean, there's a three-pointer. Okay. What else? You can score a normal basket, which is two points. Right. What else? And then there's a, a free throw, which is one point. Okay. And what else? Hmm? There's one more. I, I don't know it. Hmm. Okay. Do some research before you come on here and act like you know everything about basketball. Do some research, okay? Oh, okay. All right. Hey, I had a wonderful time. It was great. On this podcast. I had a lot of fun this episode. Learned a lot about myself. Yeah. And you're a good guy. I'm a good guy at the end of the you're, day. You're a great guy. Keep keep that in mind, it okay? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter it, no. if you have body over. It doesn't matter no, if you doesn't. haven't held a job. None of those things matter. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Doesn't matter if a woman won't make love to you. None of that matters. What matters here, folks, is that we three love each other and we have a podcast. Yeah. And thank y'all for supporting us and listening to us every week, okay? We'll be back next week with another episode of Trader Tales. Love y'all. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Trailer Tales!